It's a miracle. An early Thanksgiving miracle. We on that Mac Canada pack today, bitches. Big deep news. Never thought I'd see the day, let alone that day happen in the middle of a Steelers season because we just saw reports, what was it, two, three weeks ago, that the Steelers were open to extending Canada for 2024. Our lives in offense purgatory were going to continue the next 365 days. Would have been terrible. But it happened. Matt Canada has been relieved of his offensive coordinator duties. And the memes and the reaction on social media is phenomenal. Matt Canada showing up to the Steelers facility today like... Matt Canada after trying to go to work today. Steelers in their first half of football without Matt Canada. Putting up 49 points. Steeler fans waking up to Matt Canada being fired. Steeler fans seeing Matt Canada be fired. And finally, Pickett to Pickens next game with Canada gone. Doing Kobe and Shaq duo type of things. Okay, so my initial reactions and takeaways. One, it's about damn time. It's about damn time. Like Looking back, this firing should have taken place... 2021 week two of big ben's final season uh but even as early as this year i was thinking about it week two of monday night football and then once we hit the bye seeing how the offense played those first like five weeks i said we were due for a switch up we were due for a shake up but we didn't and to canada's credit to the offense's credit we did get better for these last like three four weeks obviously took a step back in the browns game but I'm completely good with this move. You guys heard me on the stream yesterday say, like, I think that is a serious solution to this offense. We need a shakeup. We need something different. Like, you could just tell from the players' reactions, their body language, Najee talking in his interview this past game, uh, Kenny saying we got to make quicker adjustments, some of Pickens' reactions over the last couple weeks on social media. Something just has been off. It doesn't feel like the players have really bought into what Canada has been doing. And whether it's completely Canada's fault or not, something had to give. It felt like the players were going into each of these games debilitated, almost like they're climbing uphill. Not only are they going up against a defense, but going up against our own schemes. And again, is it all on Canada? Does it matter at this point? We needed a change of scenery. We needed that. We needed a shakeup. It happens all the time in hockey. Penguins, hell, Penguins won a Stanley Cup because we did it back in 09. We fired, uh, what was it, Michelle Terrian, brought in Dan Bowsma. That was the shakeup we needed. You saw it with the Bills last week. They fired their offensive coordinator, Ken Dorsey. You saw what happened just this past week against the Jets. They put up 30-plus points, and uh, we're cruising. So we'll see if the same things happen with the Pittsburgh Steelers here. But it was time. Like, let's not act like this wasn't warranted. Canada's tenure as the offensive coordinator having a Hall of Fame quarterback in Ben Roethlisberger at the helm, and then going to Mitch Trubisky, and then also having first-round pick Kenny Pickett. It has ranked last in the league over that two-and-a-half-year stretch. Almost last in the league. I mean, you you guys know the stats. You guys know the rankings. We haven't put up over 400 yards of offense in you know the past 50-something games. Now, I don't think that's the end-all, be-all, but it is something. When you're totaling it all together, adding it all up, Canada, as the Steelers play caller, just was not it like this is a very justified move based off his body of work and it's looking like as we would have expected with a move like this midseason that we're just going to be calling up the quarterback coach and Mike Sullivan to be the offensive coordinator but Eddie Faulkner the Steelers running back coach is also going to have a major role with the play calling like I think the title is Mike Sullivan OC but Eddie Faulkner is going to be very very involved in the game planning and what's going on in game with OC and play calling and that type of stuff. Uh, but the thing that really stuck out to me, or, you know, there's a little conspiracy going on here, just got me thinking. We got a statement from the Steelers that read Matt Canada has been relieved of his duties as offensive coordinator. I appreciate Matt's hard work and dedication and wish him the best moving forward in his career. From Mike Tomlin. But then we get another report. From Jerry Dulac saying that Art Rooney II was the one that fired Matt Canada. So what's going on here? I have three theories. One, Art Rooney II is just like all of us. Had enough with this offense. Had enough with the schemes that Canada's putting out there and his flow of calling plays. Had enough and just said, I'm overriding everything. Firing Matt Canada. 
Mike Tomlin would have probably still kept him if it wasn't for that. The second one is Mike Tomlin was really ready to get rid of Matt Canada. It's just that since they have that friendship, he didn't want to be the one to break the news. So he asked Art Rooney, he's like, hey, could you do me a favor here? Kind of still want to keep my relationship with Matt Canada intact. I still want to be friends, you know, have each other over for holidays or whatnot. Can you be the one to fire him? Could you be the one to take the blame for this? And Art Rooney, being the good guy that he is, took the fall for firing Matt Canada. I guess the third option could be both Tomlin and Rooney had enough and both wanted to put their names on relieving Canada of his duties. So yeah, great day to be a Steeler fan. Canada's reign of sabotaging Pittsburgh greats and Steelers quarterbacks has finally come to an end. And we know what this means for the rest of the season, too. These last seven games, we get to see what Kenny Pickett looks like under a different offensive coordinator, something that we've all been waiting and wanting to see. So now some people's questions will have answers and whatnot. Um, and you know where I stand on all this. Canada gone, time to let Kenny cook, and he is going to cook. The haters will be silenced. But that's it for this edition of Big Deke News on a Tuesday, the official Fire Matt Canada Day. Maybe we should make it a national holiday, two days before Thanksgiving. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay chilling. And uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Peace.